dog lovers, <clears throat> um, specifically the pit bull, the bully tards, they don't care. They just don't care. They don't care that their dog is a uh, a problem, a major problem to the community, to the neighborhood, to the to to workplaces, to schools, to hospitals. They don't care. Many of them, all of them. They just don't care that their pit bull is uh, 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 is is dangerous, and that's why they get these things and bring them everywhere, and allow their their pit bull to lay on their babies and to intimidate the neighborhood. Because you see, when a dog nutter pit nutter, when they get a pit bull, a bully breed. Uh, it's it's not just their problem. It isn't. I mean, we it, it, okay. They they can get a pit bull. They can get a pit bull. But even if we ignore the pit bull, mind our own business, don't even talk to the owner, ignore the pit bull, stay away from the the pit bull's you know territory. If that pit bull decides to get loose or whatever the reason, you know, and wants to go on an attack spree, it's going to attack you. Even if you have never done anything to it. You can live blocks away from a pit nutter's house and that thing can travel and still find you and maul you. So just because we don't own a pit bull just because we don't talk about, if for some people don't talk about pit bulls, uh, don't care for them, whether you care or don't care, and if someone has a pit bull in the neighborhood, you who are minding your own business, you can be attacked and killed by these things. And it's unfair. It is really unfair that many governments allow these pit nutters and bully tards to behave the way they do and to even own these things. It only shows that this government, the dog nut government, the pit nut government, they just don't care about our well-being. They they may act like they do in terms of these pit bulls and they may, you know, do a, a two minute video about them, but nothing is being done. Nothing is being done because they're, the attacks of pit bulls have, is, is dominating. It, it's, it's so high that it's so undebatable. Never mind the, the date, but this is still a reflection of what goes on today. How pit bulls are killing, attacking people left to right. And they're allowed to exist, bands are being uplifted, uh, pit nutters, bully tards are allowed to own two, three of these things, and they attack people, kill people, and um, no one cares. The government doesn't care, the pit nuts don't care, the bully tards don't care. Even though the stats say that these things have killed many people. The stats say that they have killed many people. And, and this is not, you know, this is just in the U.S., but this is a global, it is a global problem. It is a global problem. Canada, U.K., South America, Europe, Asia, all over the world, anywhere there's a pit bull, someone is getting attacked. And if you look on Reddit, ban pit bulls on Reddit. A lot of pit bull attacks, bully breed attacks, they don't make the news. 
But when you go to Reddit, you see a lot of pit bull attacks against people, even other worthless mutts. And those do not make the headlines on these, you know, major corporate news outlets. You don't hear about them on YouTube. You don't hear about them anywhere. There's a lot of them that go around, go on daily, every day, worldwide. Not all of them make the news. Not all of them even make, you know, various um, anti-pitbull boards. Because there's so much of them. So much. But again, the, the bully tards, the pit tards, they just don't care. They don't care. Simply, they just don't care. These pit tards, bully tards, they, they enjoy watching their, their beloved worthless mutt attack people, kill people. They, they do. I know they do. Um, if they're th- if they're saying people kill someone and and no one's around, to and and no one's around to witness it, guarantee a lot of them would just walk away, leave the scene, and act like nothing happened. They wouldn't go back to even help the person. They would leave the person, let them die, go home with their mutts. Wash them up and act like nothing happened. That's how sick I know these pit bull, t- pit bull tards and, and bully tards are. Because they don't care. They don't even care about their own well-being. They don't care about their children's well-being. So if they don't care about themselves and their own children, why would they care about others in the neighborhood? People who they've never spoken to. Let alone they have you know raised and nurtured their own children, but they're endangering and have allowed their pit bull to attack their own children. And you think, you think, or we think, you know, they should care about everyone, but they don't. Everyone else, they don't. They don't care about you in the neighborhood. They don't care if their pit bull goes loose and kills you. They do not care they want, this is what they want, the pit bull nutters, they want their pit bull to kill. That's what they want. They want them to, to kill even other worthless mutts. They want them to kill other, other what, real animals, natural animals. Because they just don't care. And, and they just don't care. And, you know, they don't care and we should stop waiting for them to care. All this, you know, begging these pit bull nuts to, to change their ways and, and, you know, pleading to them and arguing with them, it, it goes nowhere. They don't care. I say, you know, educate them. But when you're going at them, you've you got to, to go hard at these pit nuts. You, you have to have to be aggressive with them no more warnings in 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 the real world no more warnings you see a pit bull stray pit bull man and you have the opportunity to 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 fix the problem do it do it fix the problem if 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 you know you, you can't you can't be be all nice to these pit bull nuts because you become all nice to them you're just opening the door for their pit bull to maul you and you think these pit bull nuts and bully tards care no you get mauled they're immediately going to leave the scene and not to leave the scene to get help they're leaving the scene so they can protect their worthless mutt and act like nothing happens so we can't be be pandering and, and hoping these these pit nuts change when they've allowed so many babies little children innocent people to die they they have technically murdered innocent people they have murdered babies 
They have. Blood is on their hands. And a lot of these dog nutters who are anti pitbull and other people who are anti pitbull, you just you 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 got we you we us have to be a very aggressive with these people. Gotta be ready. Gotta be strapped. Gotta be prepared always. And when you see that opportunity and there's a pit bull there, you you we we have to fix the problem. Have to fix the problem. We cannot. Just play around and, and, and just hope they change. Because a lot of them will not change. A lot of them are just too brain dead. They're too, generally speaking, a lot of them are just already dumb. Even before they even had a pit bull or knew what a pit bull was, they were already dumb. And now they get a pit bull, they're even dumber. And, and if you're dumb, there there's I don't think there's any... Help for a dumb person. Especially these pit tards and bully tards. So again. These pit tards, they don't care. And stop waiting for them to care. You gotta be aggressive with them. Have to be. Because that, that's, that's what they use in order to, I guess, so-called train these worthless mutts. That's what they use. They, they use aggression. They use physical punishment. They yell. Their, their blood pressure is up. They're stressed out. All to train this worthless mutt. And so you think being all nice and passive with them is, is going to be helpful. But no, we got to be aggressive to these pit nuts and bully tards. They've, they've allowed a lot of people to die and, and be killed. They've taken away lives. Taken away, you know, futures. Because these dumbass pit bull nuts and bully tards thought it was a smart idea to bring a pit bull into the neighborhood, into the community. You can be minding your own business, having nothing to do with these pit nuts and the, and the, and the pit bull. And that thing still will come and attack you and kill you. All the goals and plans you have are done. And and again, just because you or someone else may have died, they did not just ruin one person's life. They've ruined families. They've ruined communities. Many families. Two, three families at once by killing people with their wordless mutt. With their pit bull. With their bully breed. And again, they just don't care. They don't care. And in the beginning, uh, these pit tars and bully tars, they use pit bulls to, as entertainment to kill natural animals. Bulls and rats, they did not care. It stems all the way back in the beginning. They didn't care then, and they don't care now. And all I'm trying to say is we got to be more aggressive with these pit tards and bully tards. Got to stand up for yourself. Got to be ready. Got to be strapped. Got to. Can't let them walk all over you. Can't be passive. Can't be scared to speak up. You can't be, you know, if if a friend has a pit bull, say no and don't go over there. If they ask you to, the dog say a pit bull, say no and don't go over there. But a lot of these pit nuts and bully tards and dog lovers, they go, oh, this pit bull's fine. And they go over and they are killed by the same pit bull. That's how you ruin lives and families. Taking away mothers and fathers and babies. Ruining families, ruining futures. All for what, though? For nothing. They get these dogs for absolutely nothing whatsoever. There's no reason. There is no reason for them to have them. There isn't one. There's no beneficial... Natural, productive uh, reason to own a pit bull or a bully breed. 
It, 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 nothing. It, nothing. Other than killing people with your pit bull or bully breed, you know, with a if you have a pit, other than killing people with a pit, there, there's nothing there. Nothing. If it, if it's about responsibility, you're telling me you need to have own a deadly ass dog to gain responsibility. Really, a grown man needs to learn responsibility by owning a dangerous dog. Or, or or is it because you're you're a pussy? You're you're a fake tough guy, and you have to walk around with these. With these dangerous things. These same dangerous dogs kill babies. These dangerous dogs kill day old babies. And you want to walk around with them and act like you're tough. Because they can kill babies? Dude, that, that's... In reality, that's not a man. That's not a... A human, that's 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 a devil. People call you a demon. They'll call you crazy. People people want to like stone you to death because of that. But so somehow in this pit bull culture and bully culture, they just don't care. It seems like only these pit tars and bully tars can get a pass. Even though it's crazy, it is crazy. They ignore it and allow them to go past, to get past and... They just look at it as just normal. <sighs> Again, pit owners, bully tards, they don't care. They have killed many. They have allowed many to die. They have killed many. They have destroyed multiple families, multiple futures, multiple plans. For absolutely nothing whatsoever. And these fake tough guys get these things. Even though they can kill babies, they get them and act tough around them. Pit bull tards, bully tards. They are, they are, they are sick. They are sick. They are. Just look at the, the majority of pit tards and bully tards. They look like shit. They look like shit. Go to the dog butcher. Another worthless mutts. And remember, it's okay to hate dogs.